Installation of the aspen siding continued and would for quite a while since more than 80% of the interior walls would be covered in it. My dad would occasionally come up and help out when he could and it was nice to have the extra help. But the uneven studs would continue to pose a problem, really slowing down the progress of this project. We had to remove the insulation we installed in each area in order to fix the issue. I got a great deal at a local forestry product store at only $1.49 per 8-foot board, compared to today's prices of about $20 to $25 per board. It took a lot of truckloads of aspen to keep this project going. In preparation for when the well pump gets installed in the future, we purchased an old clawfoot tub from an antique store that we thought would go perfectly in the cabin. It was made in 1915. It needed some work, but it was in better condition than the other ones they had. I spent several days cleaning the inside of the tub and stripping and wire brushing the old paint off, then repainting it. I thought it came out really good. I would install it sometime after the pump got installed in the well, a date we were anxiously waiting for because we were growing tired of hauling water from home. While this deer was having a rest in the shade, a group of wild turkeys strolled by, but the deer seemed unfazed. The last turkey even stopped, seeming to dare the deer to try something. Recently we took a four-wheel drive ride up Hermit Road to nearby Hermit Lake in the Sangre de Cristos. Once at the trailhead, it's a short half-mile hike to the lake and it's incredibly beautiful.
No nails. Since the stairs were about to be permanently covered up, I wanted to secure them a little better with some more lag screws. I don't need nails. I do. Yeah. Firewood. Every so often, there's more than just wildlife roaming around the property. This was our first time seeing cattle at the cabin. Why are there cows on our property? I don't know. <laughs> Those are nice looking cows too. There's some nice steak there. That's about as far as we would get in the year 2000 because the heavier snows and colder temperatures would be rolling in soon. But we would pick back up where we left off in early spring of 2001.